it originates in a, what I called in 2000 and beginning of perhaps 15 January 15 I saw it we saw it together in the sky and I see with friends so there is easy way to to uh, compare and see if we saw the same thing if the same thing was presenting presented to us both so I would take it more as a message in itself rather than a personal message that I would take if I were alone seeing this. However, I think the message was personal also. And it takes me all this time to think about what the message could mean to me. So I realize that the message that there is to me is a form of movement that is perhaps a concept of a movement that I've been challenged with spiritually or and also uh, constructively from a point of a person who want, wanted to draw this movement in some way this dedicated painter uh, I'm just curious person to see what would happen if I try to to draw it, and I drew it, and I drew it pretty well. So, and I've been looking at it for again and again, again and again, again, again. since I did it was perhaps a year later, or a year later that I started to do that. It took me a year from, yeah, maybe six months, maybe a year, maybe more, maybe two years that I started to do them. To do them. Did I, I, I tried to paint this. And I thought about symbolism, uh, and I thought about movement, and I thought about what they wanted to say with the symbol, because it surely looked like a symbol to me. So the, 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 the lines here in the picture, they were moving. And they were moving, it's very maybe important to say how fast they were moving. But then the, the moving perhaps fast, but not too fast. They were like slow enough to follow A structure moving, the movement of structure has been a vortex from within itself outside and back in and going backwards and going, you know, with the movement just over wrapping. The whole thing is created by movement of what looked like more like a symbolic move. It's like saying that this type of, uh, I mean, the message that I'm getting here is that I'm the symbolic of my type of activity in the world. 
or it is an attempt to describe it to make a a coin, so we say, about cleansing, uh, a cleansing, cleansing machines. No one. That it, it reminded me of a laundry machine as well. So maybe a joke, but I think they are trying to reflect to me uh, something that is at the same time is truthful as, as a spiritual mirror. They like tell you, you see, you didn't this, you know, and you see the mirror, you recognize what you do. So this was kind of a teaching that I think I've learned. I think many, many, many things as well, but. Also reflecting upon their gifts, art. So, yeah, so I'm not going to say that I'm a clean, cleaner or cleanser, although I made uh, several more works about it. One day is amazing. I left it over in Los Angeles. See, there's good value to painting, you know. But I'm not taking myself with a cleanser, although I could, I, I, I can, I, I must, I, if I could, uh, show this. Also, as a model that is infinitely active, it's. This kind of portix concept, it's not only a concept, but it's actual machine like moving in front of your eyes. It's like here in the sky, like the moon, it's, it's twice the size of the moon. And it's with this color, it's more green and purple and violet. The green and purple, green and purple, green and purple. Yeah, it's such a strong symbol. Anyway, I think I said enough about it, but it basically summarize it. It is an infinite of birding itself infinitely in, infinitely birthing itself the, the previous title i gave to it it was uh, mind over matter i think i meant to say conceptual anyway you can take it you want. I'm just trying to give example for something that I may remember in the next video to say. Thank you, so so your son. Yes, yes.